From the Council of St. Peter's Episcopal Church, Honolulu, Hawaii, A Moment with Music. And happy Aloha Friday, everybody. Today we come to the part of the creed where it says the resurrection of the body. Now think about this week. We've been through, I believe, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins. And after we have completed all that, the resurrection of the body. This creed affirms the resurrection of the body, and the whole point of God's plan of salvation is that we might share in the resurrection of Christ. Paul, in the first letter to Corinthians, states, If there is no resurrection of the dead, then neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then empty is our preaching. Empty, too, your faith. For if the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. Okay, so this affirmation in the creed leads us to a huge amen, right? We're going to be resurrected and we won't have to deal with these bodies any longer. One of the leading questions that is always asked of me, of, of my patients or, or even the bereaved, those that are dying or those that have, are living through the trauma of losing someone, they often ask, what is it like to die? I always give the analogy of, you know, you have these this big, heavy coat that you have on in the winter, right? And it keeps you nice and warm, and it's huge. But nothing is better when the spring comes around, and you can take that coat off, and you feel free. Today is a day to celebrate, to rejoice. We will be resurrected into God's perfect kingdom. And he will raise us up, and he will raise us up, and he will raise us up on the last day. I am the bread of life.
Let us find our hope in God as we pray and read together from right to. I am resurrection, and I am life, says the Lord. Whoever has faith in me shall have life, even though he die. And everyone who has life, has committed himself to me in faith, shall not die forever. As for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, and that at the last he will stand upon the earth. After my awaking, he will raise me up, and in my body I shall see God. I myself shall see, and my eyes behold him who is my friend, and not a stranger. For none of us has life in himself, and none becomes his own master when he dies. For if we have life, we are alive in the Lord, and if we die, we die in the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's possession. Happy from now on are those who die in the Lord. So it is, says the Spirit, for they rest from their labors. Amen.